Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can speed up your Opera browser. Alright, so if you guys have been using it for a while, you probably noticed that it's kind of been slowing down. Um, so these are just some tips and tricks that you can do to probably speed it up. Alright, so first what you want to do is open up your browser, right? Type in Opera and then go to colon slash slash settings. Okay, and this basically just opens the setting. You can obviously press the settings key over here or from the drop down on top, but whatever. Just um, personally, I personally like the URL. All right, so first, what you want to do is you want to change up these options over here. Okay, so first one, let's look at block ads. All right, you want to enable it if you don't use a dedicated extension for blocking ads so if you're not if you don't have ad block or origin block um, then you can enable it all right otherwise if you have that plugin don't enable it that's just repetitive and it could slow things down next what you want to do is you want to disable this uh, the wallpaper okay enable wallpapers you want to keep that disabled all right so because that just loads up uses resources to set the wallpaper when you start it up or when it opens all right so next what you want to do is find on startup okay so on startup is over oops over here all right and on startup it depend really depends on what your preference is all right uh me personally i like to retain tabs from the previous session right um but you can speed things up if you select begin with a fresh page okay so if you have this enabled, you probably and your and speed comes as a top priority, then you probably would want to go to with begin with fresh start page. All right, uh, mainly because you know when you do um, retain tabs from previous session, when you close it and you have some tabs open, sometimes you might have a lot of tabs. Um, you might you know just it might just end up taking a while to load. All right. So, um, next, what you want to do is go to privacy and security. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I passed it, but if you don't, if you can't find it, you can probably you can just press Control F and then privacy. Okay, right here, privacy and security. All right, so this setting depends largely on what your usability is, and you may want to disable some of these things. For example, use a prediction service to help complete searches. Uh, I usually keep that off because prediction, any prediction services usually uh, use resources and can slow things down a lot if your machine's already going slow. All right, next, um, automatically sends crash reports. I usually just have that to know help improve I do know protect me from malicious sites um, I usually keep that enabled um, fetch images for uh, fetch images for suggested sources and news based on history um, keep that disabled display promotional notifications disabled um, and the next one you the other ones you can leave like that um, Next, we can go for, we want to search for web RTC. Okay, so this really depends on whether you use the services that use web RTC, right? Um, so this one's more of prox, uh, more for uh, privacy. Um, and this one just have it selected to disable non-proxies UDP. Okay, and this is, mostly for privacy reasons okay not really security but i definitely like to have that selected all right next what you want to search for is battery saver all right so battery saver it basically preserves the battery when you're using opera on a device that has a battery so if you have it on a desktop this really wouldn't matter but if you have it on a laptop you, d you should set this up to what you need um it'll reduce performance to achieve that so for example, battery saver is enabled once the. F for example, once your battery is, uh, well, your laptop is using battery, and you know it does that by using less resources. Okay, so your laptop will run slower 
right? Uh, just for it to retain the battery so it's not using so much battery power at once. Okay, so this might be what is affecting uh, your computer, so definitely want to check that out. All right, next we can search for instant. Okay, uh, I believe it's not, is it here? Um, uh, I believe that's in the site settings. We'll get that in a, in a minute. Um, so let's just do all the ones that are here first. Okay. So next we want to search for is my flow. Okay. So you want to disable my flow, uh, mainly because my flow does use a lot of resources. Uh, it keeps your profile in a sense memorized, right? Um, and it, it keeps updating it based off. Um, you know what you have on your computer so there's a lot of back and forth uh, connection between them which can uh, slow things down considerably all right so definitely just keep that off I mean obviously if you are using those features you can it's a you know decision on you whether you want to trade offs or not okay next thing is the crypto wallet okay so if you're not really into cryptocurrencies or anything you want to keep this disabled right um, it's not something most people use that I know of but you know if you use it keep it on but if you don't definitely turn that off okay um, another thing is sir believe it's pop-up okay yeah search pop-up okay so if you don't use it again disable it is basically when you're searching a pop-up will come up um, when you select the text all right um, the next one is the video pop-up okay so this one is for example if you have YouTube you can have it as a pop-up while you're browsing other websites which is cool it's really cool, but this definitely uses a lot of resources, uh, mainly because it's running an instance of the video on one, and then you're also browsing um, on another, so it's kind of doing both at the same time, so using twice as much resources. So definitely um, have that disabled if you don't use it, but if that is something you use heavily, um, then keep it on and just fix up the other ones. Another one is personal personal news so keep that off um, it, it's just not something that I've used really often and you want to search for check my sources for new content never okay so just have that that that's basically your personal news on the left hand side and you even though it's never you can manually make it check so every time you go there you can make it manually update so you don't need to have it uh, running in the background keep checking for news every whatever minutes all right uh, next one is the user interface okay so user interface all right so make sure tab previews and enable reporting items so where is it show tab previews so yeah keep that off all right um, and then also the enable where is it reporting problems right here okay enable reporting problems with sites uh, you want to keep that disabled and delay loading of background tabs is enabled so right here this one you want to make sure that is enabled and this one and show tab previews are disabled okay um, that's basically what it says in a sense when you have tabs you can see the preview of it before going to it right delay loading back on it tabs um, when you have when you open something in a new tab it won't take priority uh, in in terms of loading it'll there'll basically be a delay in it okay um, next one you want to do is uh, I believe we can go to search start page all right, right here. So start page is basically the uh, when you open it, when you open Opera, the page that'll show up. And the main one I want to show over here you, is you want to 
disable receive promoted speed dials and bookmarks okay um, that's one of them the next one is it show speed dials and speed dial suggestions and the last one show news on start page so you want to keep that disabled all right so those three just make sure to disable it it's just basically because when you open the browser um, you want to have the least amount of resources being used in that sense mainly because the browser itself is going to start using a lot of resources you don't want on top of that the browser to be loading other things on top of it loading itself all right so definitely have those things disabled um, all right next thing we can go search is downloads all right so downloads over here uh, this is more for like security reasons um, you want to have oh I mean this is more of a preference but me personally I like to have this enabled um, you know just when you're downloading I just like it to know where I'm downloading even though it is a downloads folder because me personally I like to organize it into different locations or d different folders depending on what I'm downloading all right so that's that um, the last one on this section we can do is shortcut shortcuts okay so if you're not using gestures at all right um, so for example if you're using uh, on a desktop where you have a mouse or a laptop where you're not really using the gestures at all uh, you want to keep that disabled all right so that really um, should kind of help with any well one thing is um, any accidental gestures if you're using a laptop uh, another thing is gestures do cause um, a lot of resources to be used um, so just keep that disabled all right so we're done with this page that was quite a few uh, changes next what we want to do is go to opera settings colon slash slash setting slash content all right so now here we just want to change a few things um, the first being images okay so this is more for drastic changes right so if you really experience a lot of lag or you know delay slow down on your browser you want to turn this disabled right um, I haven't really experienced that kind of lag so I keep it enabled but definitely delaying the loading of images definitely helps okay because images are large files you know and they are what when loading a browser or when loading a website images are probably the the biggest thing on the web page that it needs to load okay so if you have it disabled um, then it would load a lot quicker all right so but that's obviously a major drawback because you're not loading any images but that's up to you uh, to decide whether you actually need that or not all right and last but not least what we want to do is flash we want to go to flash and have this disabled okay mainly because one flash is very unsecure um, I believe that this should be disabled by default right even though it has enabled ask first but you know just personally I think that flash should be disabled by default I believe they did that in Chrome as well as Firefox uh, but they should definitely update this to do that as well okay um, so this is basically it I mean and aside from this you can add an exception right um, if you need it like a website you use quite often you can add the exception over here um, so yeah aside from that this is basically all the tips and tricks that you can do on Opera to basically speed up uh, or try to speed it up um, last but not least if all this fails you can definitely try uninstalling and reinstalling the browser uh, me personally I have never come to that you know for me it was mostly just changing up some of the options and the settings um, and you know it really seemed to work fine once I've made those changes so yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are if you liked the video uh, you know give it a thumbs up if you have any question or comments please please leave them down below you know I'd love to help you guys out um, 
other than that, you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Peace out.